But lads, we welcome you. It's the Chef United way. My name is Hal. We are going to look ahead to an away fixture. Sheffield United travelling to Brentford at the GTEC Community Stadium, I want to say. Uh, the thing I'm more confident about and the thing I like is it's a 3 p.m. Saturday kickoff. This button does this bit now. Well, I always like to kick off by going backwards and looking at our last match. And that was, I'm going to say, an Oli Arblaster inspired United performance. The Blades, let's be honest, rescuing a deserved draw at home against Chelsea 2 2. I enjoyed that match and we could have won, but that result is not the big story of the week. I have to get straight to the big story of the week, right? Love Island star Arabella Chi, 33, splits from Sheffield United footballer Vinicius Souza, 24, just one week after they were spotted on a coffee date. A coffee date initially when I read that does sound uh, like a sweet fruit that you'd maybe get uh, on the side, maybe with your coffee or as a snack, a side snack possibly uh, with some nuts. Probably lovely coffee dates grown on large trees, native to um, the Middle East. A delicacy. And as I say, probably delicious, uh, but it's not that. They went on a coffee date and uh, things seem to be going well for um, seven days. But yes, the main story, Love Islander Arabella Chi breaks up with Vinicius Souza. I'm sure he's still stood there pointing out where she went wrong. Uh, but at least one of them got to see a Brazilian in action. Anyway, let's look at uh, Brentford's side and the Blades first as we look at this away game. Uh, Basham, Egan, Lowe, Brewster, Davis. Reese Norrington Davies, all likely out for the remainder of the season. We might see maybe one, two of them before the end of the season. That remains to be seen. Just a point of note Anel Ahmed Hodzic, Jaden Bogle, Gustavo Hamer, or Hamer, are on nine yellows, and a card at Brentford would be a two game ban. The last game to which they can be banned as game week 32 is the cutoff. So just keep a little eye on Anel, Jaden, and Gustavo to give them all their first names. Jack Robinson went off injured. We know this in our draw at home against Chelsea. We'll see if he makes the starting lineup. No matter what we hear in the press, you, you know, until you get that lineup an hour before kickoff, you just don't know. And on that front, Adam from our Patreon group has predicted his 11 to travel to the Bees. If you'd like to predict your lineup like this, you can join the Fan Hub community with the link in the description or by using the code S H E hyphen Y C. Five. So Adam thinks it will be Gerbich in goal. How do you feel about that? Do you feel maybe Gerbich hasn't set the world alight with his goalkeeping and that Wes perhaps should be thrown back in? Or do you think that if Gerbich is the long-term number one, as Chris Wilder has alluded to, then he should be kept in goal? I'd be interested in your thoughts in the comments. You know, personally, I think if, you, if you've come out and said, this is my number one, yes, it makes sense to stick with, but also... Chris Wilder has said in the past that he picks players on form. So I think he's he's maybe set a little bit of a rod for his own back there because I don't think you ever want to say this person is the first choice in that position. I think it just makes it things a little bit harder for you. But with Wes perhaps not signing that new contract and already with an eye on elsewhere, you maybe want the guy who's actually contracted to the club slightly longer term. Bogle, um, Adam's also saying LaRussi is going to play that left wing back role. We'll see there. I trust he's done well there, better than he's looked at left side of centre-back, but Adam goes with Holgate, Anel and Trusty, so therefore in in this assumption for an injured Jack Robinson, we're just going to keep fingers crossed for Jackie Longthrow, Arblaster, Hamer, Souza, interesting, uh, Archer and McBurney, also interesting, uh, Ben Brereton-Diaz not involved in Adam's selection. What do you think Chris Wilder will go with? Equally, if you'd like your team shared on here and to receive a whole host of other benefits, as well as support us here at the Chef United Way, head to patreon.com slash Chef United Way. We had recently our first Chef United Way Patreon quiz, won by Jono, and uh, he won a retro shirt. He's tweeted about it. We've shared that. If you want to check it out, just uh, have a look at our Twitter. And, uh, you know, if you want to be part of stuff like that in the future, you know, you can win things. That's always nice. And as always, this episode of the Chef United Way is sponsored by Green King Sports, where football is more than a game. Make Green King your go-to destination for the season's final stretch. Why? For one, you can watch every televised Blades game down with delicious food and refreshing 
beverages. And with 900 sports clubs dotted around the United Kingdom, chances are you're within walking distance of your local Green King. Let's be honest, watching football is way better with friends and family. So get the squad together for every televised Premier League fixture in an atmosphere worth sharing. That includes huge title showdowns, the race for European qualification and nail-biting relegation six-pointers. And don't forget to download the Green King Sport app to enjoy exclusive competitions and discounts whenever there's a game on. Right, let's talk about our opponents, Brentford. I am reliably informed by a number of Brentford fans who've been very helpful with uh, this preview that 4-3-3 is the way they're going to go for this one, as that's likely been the formation for most of the season. With Flecken in goal, Ruislev at right back, Region at left back, Collins, Christopher Ayer together at the centre, then Janelt, Jensen and Damsgaard, the Dane uh, in midfield. Abuemo, Tony back from injury, uh, Vissa. That could be the three up top. But Keen Lewis Potter, a player many Sheffield United fans know, rate as well. The first time we saw him play, I think a lot of us thought, like Jared Bowen as well, wouldn't mind him playing for United. Keen Lewis Potter could potentially replace Vissa in the starting eleven. But as with everything, we will see. Uh, we definitely won't see from the start Ethan Pinnock. He's uh, been out, but could be in the squad. Uh, Kevin Sharder has been out since last year, but could be in the squad. All other long-term injuries are just that long-term injuries and won't make this one. The referee, who hopefully will make this one uh, for Brentford versus Sheffield United, because we need a referee, is Sam Barrett. And this season, he's taken charge of 36 matches. I also believe Sam's from uh, Yorkshire. Sometimes goes by Samuel, if you want to give him his full Sunday name. And I do. Now, he's issued 109 yellows, which might sound like a lot, but in 36 games, that's actually pretty much par for the course. He's given three red cards, two of which were second yellows, and he's given nine penalties. So we'll keep an eye out for a, a PK, as our American friends would say. He previously refereed two games, I'd rather forget, our 3-1 defeat at Fulham, which really was an awful day at the office. That was one of those games early on in the fixtures list, which I kind of circled as maybe we could get something out of that. And our 6-0 home defeat against Arsenal, which was horrendous. So I want something better from Sam Barrett this time round. Not that he really played a huge part in either of those games. Now, when we think of uh, player connections, it's players that played for both. So Brentford and Sheffield United. Now, there are there is a player actually in our, in our current squad uh, that you can probably think of. Uh, but I'm going to go slightly more obscure to begin with. Uh, Steve Cabber. Did you know that Steve Cabber also played for Brentford? What about Blades legend, Charlie Good? Jack O'Connell, an actual Blades legend. His career uh, cruelly curtailed by injury far too soon and what a career I think he'd have gone on to have I've said it before I'll say it again I think Jack O'Connell and Brentford fans watching this might laugh but I think Jack O'Connell would have played for England I mean if Tyrone Mings can play for England and uh, I've got to mention who are Bob Booker because Blades and Bees legend and I read his book as well it's a very very good read Score prediction, uh, worth considering a few things here. We are unbeaten in six against Brentford. And of course, Brentford are the only team not to score against us this season. Will they change that? What do you think? What do our Patreons think? I asked in our closed Patreon group. Well, uh, Darren thinks we'll lose 3-2. You know, he might be right, but I hope not. Uh, Steve thinks 2-1 Blades and James has also said 2-1 Blades. So with that in mind, I stopped looking there and said, OK, 2-1 for United, that'll do me. Let me know your score prediction in the comments. What do you think? And if you get a chance, check out our audio podcast. We'd love it if you leave a review on iTunes.